Welcome to the final levels of Robo in Repton Infinity. Obviously starting off here we push the um, things into the grass and we also push the kettles into the grass to get them out of the way. And we see Rep um, Robo is back to his uh, nice flashy red colour. Which is all well and good until he goes and puts a, a light bulb on top of a power station. So, uh quite a bit of grass around this top area which uh, we might get a lawn mower into this top part we may not depending on uh, what we need to do but uh, we've got a few light bulbs around here now which we can arrange onto the power station there and Robbo goes all stealth once again a ninja robot here Okay, we can't use that light bulb, so we can just push it into the grass to get rid of it. And we can't push that spanner away from the outside, so it's useless to us. We want to clear a bit out from this area so we get the things into the grass there. That clears our way for the uh, cola machines. We can get a light bulb there, but we can't actually do anything with the light bulb. Since we can't get it out from where it is. I mean, there is a possibility we could do so, but the way I do this level, it's uh, not possible. Yep, and that... Uh, Orb down the bottom is blocked off, you can never get it. So you've got to watch out now not to uh, get things too uh, in the way by pushing them around. So this is what we're going to do to get rid of these kettles. Yeah, pop the fish to the transporter, pop that fish to the other transporter. They're not useful to us for anything here. Now we can finally get the lawnmower out. And then we lead it into this little corner here. And you see it can be a bit tricky, but we do a little juggle there so we can get all the orbs from that area. It's very easy to get some things trapped here when you're pushing them around, especially if you can't see ahead of you, so you end up pushing into the corner there or something like that. But anyway, we're back into stealth mode again. Yep, nearly pushed it too far there, so it wouldn't have been available to us. Oh, no. It's popped quickly so we can pop that uh, other diamond on top. Um, whatever. <laughs> yeah, and those um, orbs aren't accessible and we've got the minimum score here. So we'll just grab these orbs if we can and take a wand around and look what we didn't have to do. I was trying to demonstrate here that we could actually get that light bulb off the side here. But then I realized I probably arranged things wrong with those things and that. So we just come down to the power station here, which is a bit useless now. Yep, starting off here, we've got uh, some kettles to watch out for, and we've also got a light bulb set up straight away somewhere. Fortunately, it's gone out now. And we come down here first to pop a few things into the fridge here. 
and uh, we got a lot of points to start off with this level if you're actually watching the score you've seen the points would have risen up because the fridge that we just put those cola cans into actually has the pipes leading up to it and there were some cans in the pipes which made the uh, cans go into the fridge there and score some points Anyhow, this is why we went down to the, the bottom of that uh, area to the start, so that when we transported through, we'd be able to get out again. And you see we push the light bulb against the side, we don't need that. There are a few things up here that we, should, we need to do to score some points. But we'll source out these uh, lawn mowers first. And some of these things are impossible to get in here, so we'll just be able to see them and not touch them. Bit like the animals at the zoo. And we've got to be careful how we're arranging things here so that we can get everything else and away from the sides. And there's no easy way to. Oh, yeah, the light bulb there just uh, destroyed the transporter. And the fishes have to go to the side here because there's no easy way to get them out of the way. There's no fridges or grass or anything to dump them in. So now we get the cola can from here, which needs to go up across and it goes into the fridge there. You'll see the score rise up when we do that. So just as a demonstration, watch the score now as we push this across. Bing, there we go, it went up. So yeah, get that fish out of the way into the fridge there. Good place to put fishes really, isn't it? Otherwise they have to smell a bit. Yeah, spanner in the fridge. It's no point actually using the spanners on the computers that are down here because the discs will end up against the wall and obviously there's no way to get them into a toilet from there. And if you did get the, if there was, sorry, if there was a toilet against the wall, you wouldn't be able to reach the handle to flush it away. So there's a lot of red herrings around here. And I, yeah, I don't think those fish are herrings. I don't know what they are. They look a bit uh, mutated, really. Oh, and there we go. And uh, we trap ourselves in the corner because we finish the level. Now, final level of Robbo. And we've sped this up a bit because uh, going through the one transporter or pushing something through one transporter. Uh, gets rid of the uh, pipeway and uh, makes everything stop travelling around. So fortunately they're out of the way now, but there is still something going around the pipes uh, up here. But we'll go through another transporter to uh, get rid of the, the pipe for that. So we can actually collect the uh, the orbs. Yes, unfortunately, we've got uh, some more light bulbs with some disgusting, gaudy colours. But uh, it was clearing out a lot of orbs here, so we're getting a lot of flashing at the moment, so uh, sorry about that. I don't quite know why they made the decision to uh, include so much flashing in this game, especially with the... Uh, the light bulbs with a permanent flash. Anyhow, we went through a transporter, we ended up on top of a pipe which stopped that uh, orb going round and round so we could collect it. And now we can push all these cola cans into the fridge over here. And whoop, I went through the uh, pipes there and, well, that one didn't end up where we wanted it to. It kind of ends up down the bottom here. So we've got another fridge which we can use. So we pop this down here and yeah, the uh, cola can goes to the pipe and replaces the spanner. And now most of the rest of this level is finding the cola cans. Oops. <laughs> and trying not to get killed by them. I don't think you can. I think if you just come into the side and push them like that, they'll move out of the way. But yes, it's like finding the, the cola cans that are dotted around the level, pushing them through the pipes, and then getting them from where they end up, which is usually here, 
over to the fridge. And obviously you can only push one cola can through at a time because otherwise um, they'd all land up on top of the same space. And that means that uh, you destroy quite a lot of cola cans and you wouldn't be able to get the points for them. And we see a few orbs as well which are impossible to get to. And uh, so where are the last cola cans? We can't get any of those cola cans because they're all kind of packed really tightly together and yeah that uh, one can got near the fridge there so that's handy and there we go. Finished, we got that cola can which we could have used, uh, these spanners are useless. And uh, yep, anyway, taking a tour of the level, that's it. We'll just pop this fridge, uh, sorry, this fish into the fridge and say goodbye and see you in Tracker.